Welcome to WP Theme Tutorial. This is episode 5. Today we're going to look at removing the full size image option from the media uploader. Start by jumping into our development WordPress install. This is 2011 theme that I'm using with the WordPress theme unit test data installed. We're going to start by going to our media uploader and we're just going to go to our media library to demonstrate this and pick the first image. As you can see, we have full size. In some themes, this can make the image hang off the side of the content area. Now, yes, by setting the content width variable as well as some CSS, you can make sure that it's never going to do it. But why even provide this option to your user? So let's open 2011 and we'll go to our theme functions file. And we're just going to add on to the end of it. And the filter we're going to use today is image size names choose. So and we're going to hook our function into it. And what gets passed into this is an array of possible image sizes. So we need to make sure we pass that array back out. So right now our function would be running, but it's not actually going to do anything. Let's also take a quick look at the function in core code. You can find this under WP admin includes and media and it's currently inside the function that's called image size input fields. You can see that right here we define our size name and we use our filter image size names choose. What we're passing to it is an array of available options. The first value is the name that we've actually called the image so if you've done add image size that would be this name and then the text name that the person will actually see so you can see here we have thumbnail medium large and full which is full size so what we are going to do is basic is simply pass in a new array you can see our new array simply does not include full size. If we go back to our site and refresh. Go back into our media library. You can see we no longer have the full size option for images. Really what we're doing is just making this easy for users, making sure that they can't make mistakes and do things that we probably don't want them to do. You should still always define your content width and make sure that you have the proper CSS in there just in case for some reason they are able to do it. Thanks for watching.